Hello! Editing Michelle here. I know it's a little weird to start out with Editing Michelle, but I've gone through the footage for today and it's a lot. So I'm going to break it up into two sections. If you're here for the daily weight loss journey, it's going to be part one and watch till this timestamp. The rest of it is just going to be hiking stuff. If you're here for the hiking stuff, start watching at this timestamp. The stuff before it is just going to be weight loss journey stuff. And if you're here for the whole video, you're crazy and I love it. Enjoy! To trust you and jump down I'll keep my status quo up here Won't let anybody come near I'll fix it on my own Twenty-nine years I've been the same Trying so hard to run from shame Hello, Internet friends! Welcome back to my channel. And here's wishing you a very happy 4th of July, if you're in America. So this morning I did not go on the treadmill and that is because we've got a four mile hike planned for today. We did do yoga and yoga is a great way to also build muscle while also stretching them. So I do try and get it in once a week. And truth be told, my muscles really needed it. They're feeling great now. Speaking of the hike, I need to make a breakfast that has complex carbs so that it will slow release some energy. And I wanna get protein in. And I have a yam that I have to get somewhat through. <laughs> So I'm gonna cut that yam in half, air fry it, and throw some eggs on it with some spinach. I'm hoping that the calorie count won't be too high because for our snacks on the hike, we got salami, and then this evening we're having steak. Depending on the cut of the steak, it can be very caloric. So we're having beef chuck steak, and it does have a high fat and tendon count. So it is gonna be higher up there in the calories. So we have this Italian dried salami. There's 700 calories per container. I will be having half of this. I'm not gonna be measuring or weighing out the salami on the trail. So half is where we're, we're doing the factoring there. So my half is gonna be 350 calories. I'm betting the steak is gonna be anywhere from like 800 to 1200 calories based on, first off, the cooking preparation. Steven throws a bunch of butter in the pan to, you know, get that all good. It could, it, it could be a lot of calories. So I think I'm probably gonna be over no matter what. And I'm not gonna be able to give you guys an exact count today. I am going to weigh it. And then I'm gonna just add like 300 calories worth of fat and butter. And hopefully that will kind of put me in the right guesstimate area. So that's today's plan on the calories. It's gonna be iffy. That is fine. I'm not gonna skip breakfast because I wanna set myself up for success on the hike. I am nervous about it. But as long as I set my own pace, I think it should be fine. It may take a long time, but it should be fine. We need to stop at REI because I wanna try and get a hiking shirt. So I need to cook breakfast, I need to prep some stuff, go to REI, and then we'll be on a four mile hike. So let's get to this because I am wasting time. So let's get cooking. Balancing on a weary line get to trust you and jump down I'll keep my status quo up here Won't let anybody come near I'll fix it on my own Twenty-nine years I've been the same Trying so hard to run from shame But how long can I keep up the pace To fool myself I don't need grace So, I found a shirt. It was $50. Uh, it wasn't on sale. They mark it if it is on sale. It was just on the same rack as something that was on sale. But, I basically got it for free. The shirt's $50. We had REI rewards for $58. Because
because when I bought the kayak, it put that money on there. So, basically free shirt. Okay, we're about to start our hike. It is the same location, only further. I have a hiking pole that I'm gonna use as a cane. UV gear, that will keep me warm. It's apparently not buttoned correctly. I'll fix that later. Let's start the hike. We're here and we're going to this viewpoint. How, how many miles? Uh, it's 3.3. These heels are getting a little steeper. I have to say, the shirt is working perfectly. In the shade, I'm not cold, because it provides just the slightest bit of wind resistance. And I'm not sweating. I would have taken off my hoodie, and I brought a shawl just in case, but there's no way I could wear that right now. I am sweating, while also kind of still being chilled by the air, and uh, it feels good. Uh, equipment is important. Steven is using those hiking poles. I, tr I have one for one leg. That's for the way down. I don't know how to use it correctly. So it was being a hindrance. And luckily there's a spot on this pack that we can keep that pole until I need it. Uh, oh, you guys, I am out of shape. I did really want to buy some uh, pants that are like this, like two pairs, but at their prices, there's no way I'm going to buy two pairs when I'm not at my goal weight. My goal weight will put me at a size medium. I am a size large. Oh. I start, oh, fuck, he said up. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh God. I started my journey not vlogging it, just starting my weight loss at a 2XL. Heaviest weight that I know of it was 210. I started my vlog at 172. And at that point, I was a 1X. So I am going to hold off on the pants because I know that I will make it to the size medium. And I'm not buying $100 pants until then. But then I will. Hopefully I can find some at Value Village before that comes to, to be a thing I need to do, though. Oh, fuck. Here's our boulder. Two point eight miles the other day took an hour and forty five minutes. I am at the point where it's point nine miles, and now we're going up more. Um, and we took a different route, but we are, we have gone 0.9 miles. And I made it in roughly 25 minutes. So I'm making better time. Probably gonna slow down a bit here now. I'm starting to get really sweaty and winded. Steven has just alerted me that it is 3.3 miles up. And this whole trip has been up. There has been no flat, no down. It's all been up and it's 3.3 .3 miles up. So my body stopped when I heard it because that means it's 3.3 .3 miles back. I think I was gonna go on a four mile walk. It's a six and a half mile walk. Easy. This guy. Just one step in front of the other. Uphill. Yeah, uphill's the easy part. I guess we're gonna do this damn thing and it's fine that I went over all my calories today, huh? He's not very fat, he's nice and long though. He is nice and long. Mile and a half in, and we finally get a little bit of a flat area. And then right up there, I don't know if you guys see it, that's uphill again. We got 
that much flat area. We're talking a meter at most of flat a area. Meter. What? A meter? I don't know what a meter is. <laughs> That's apparent. Obviously. Okay, Steven is teaching me how to read a map and trail markers because I don't know. And if I don't want to get tricked for extra mileage, I think I should know how to do this. So these two points say different things. These two. Which one? This one? Yeah, three miles. Okay, so there's yeah. three miles or 2.6. Why would anyone choose to go further to get to the same point? Because well, that's because uh, they want to go a different way. But so we've came, we've, we've came. Uh, uh, this way actually looks decent. It doesn't look super uphill. It, it's all uphill. <laughs> that looks like it might be more uphill. <laughs> that goes way. That goes uphill. They both go uphill. They, they bo You have to get to the same place. They have to both go up the same amount. Well, this looks flatter though. For for a short period of time. We're gonna we're gonna yeah. we're gonna go, go with the go. with the option that shows two less point, mileage then. Yep. <laughs> and we're 1.2 miles so far. Okay. He tricked me. The shorter distance is going to be steeper because it's going to the same spot. So you are going to go up high. You're you're gonna climb more deeply to get to the same area. All right, we had a nice little rest of flat flatness. I don't know how good you guys can see it, but this is flat. That is straight on up. Wish me luck. guys we still have more uphill you were not done you asked for more I give you more now if anyone wants to ask Michelle why are you being such a big baby about going up a hill I'm going up a mountain and that's all there is to it Downhill. Does that mean we're getting close? Uh, it's just a bit. Think we have to end up up there. Excuse me. I think we have to end up up there. Okay. We're running out of mountain though. We're getting close to the top. It feels like we're. Oh, okay. So we have to walk very far this way. And then somehow get up there. Uh, yeah, turn the mic up. Okay. This must be the spot for woodpeckers. Good choice. That is a decent tree for wo pecking wood. And I'm going to tell us which way we got to go. Okay. So from what I remember. Wait, what does viewpoint up mean? A Huckleberry Trail is up, so that it's this one. Yep. Okay. How did you mean he didn't end up up there? He was correct. All right. Only way to go is either up or down. Or I could just stay here. Small, slow steps. And we'll get up this. Take a smaller step. Yeah. Don't stop completely, just smaller step. You lose your momentum if you stop. Yep. Okay. 
but it sure does. Okay. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. Wait, nope, there's still more up. Okay. All right, I wanna to talk to you guys now that we've got a little bit of flatness here. I know that I have bitched and moaned quite a bit about going uphill today. Um, but don't let it fool you. The instant that you get on flat surface, it's like you get reinvigorated. You get a whole new surge of adrenaline going through and you're like, oh yeah, this is easy. So I am enjoying this. Steven and I have been talking and I've kind of been just turning on the camera when I want to show you guys a hill. <laughs> so <laughs> this is very enjoyable. And honestly, if someone were to ask me to take a walk with nothing of a view, like no view around for three and a half miles and three and a half miles back, I'd be like, ah, oh, no thanks, that sounds awful. This is wonderful, it really is. Um, that being said, we got a little bit more hill to get up. What do you think, is this uh, probably coming near the end of it? Yep. <sighs> Just gotta get through this, guys. I'm gonna push myself. I can hear you guys cheering me on in my head. I'm gonna do it. I can do it and then I'm gonna be really proud of myself when I'm done. This hill feels easier than the last one. So this is, this is like walking off flat land now. Oh. Uh oh, I'm almost out of battery. You guys might not get to see the viewpoint. All right, so I did run out of battery and I wanted to save the rest of it for final thoughts after the hike was done. So no view. Just kidding guys. You think I'd make the same mistake twice in the same week? I brought extra battery packs. This be the view. I think it's marked by this bench right here. But I don't see any markers stating that this is the viewpoint. And there is a trail that continues on. So Steven's gonna check the map because before we left, he took a picture of the map with his phone, which, smart idea. So we're just gonna confirm that this is the viewpoint. We think it's the tallest part of the mountain, but you don't really get much of a view. It's pretty blocked. I think it's might be a different spot. I think it might be a different spot. But just in case it's not, one more view. There are no trees above us. Does that mean we're on the top of the mountain? No, there's a little bit more up. Oh, oops, well, in any case, I made it. Okay, so Steven took the picture of the map at 1040. It is 1210. It is 3.3 miles. So we did 3.3 miles in an hour and a half. And last time we were out, it took me an hour and 45 minutes to get 2.8, so. And a lot less uphill. And a lot less uphill. The, uh, the view is not magnificent, unfortunately, but that is fine. Uh, the fact that I can do this, and I'm spending time outdoors with someone I enjoy being with, that's what matters. And it just marks the beginning of me being able to go on more hikes to see more beautiful views. So I'm, I'm feeling really proud of myself and really happy, and this is gorgeous. And yeah, I'm just full of endorphins right now. Uh, next week is gonna be a lot more boring though, just so you guys know. It's all downhill from here. Okay, so just so you guys know, we decided to try and take a different way back. Um, it's uphill again. I actually don't know where we're going, but we decided that if we end up, no matter what, we'll end up back down on the ground. <laughs> And that doesn't mean to say we'll fall. <laughs> it just means we're gonna be ending up back down the mountain no matter which way we go. So your guys' guess is as good as mine as where we uh, are headed and where we're ending. <laughs> this is becoming no joke. <laughs>
Going down, baby. I think we're going up. Open air, side by side, we sway there in all the colors. Remembered the correct trail we needed to take. We're doing the right the right trail. Okay. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay. You guys are going in the bag for a minute. The trail is not trailing. We have finished our hike. Uh, about the last half mile, my ankle did start giving out. I've had injuries and therefore I don't have the greatest catch system and I never did anything to strengthen any of the muscles around it. Um, I have early, on, early onset arthritis and I have tendonitis. Best thing for it is movement and muscle building. Steven is currently calculating how much we walked and all that's left to do today is eat some steak and elevate my legs, I think. <laughs> 
I do think today was a bit much for me. Um, the goal is, is to not get the pain. 5.8. We only did 5.8? Count it oh. twice. What? We counted it twice, 5.8. I believe you. 5.8. So I think maybe four is where I should be at for now until I build it up. I'm happy I did it this far. I thought it was really pretty. It was fun, but it was a little bit too much for me at the end, especially downhill apparently is really hard for me. So, but on that note, know your limits, test your limits and go out and enjoy some sunshine. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.